Good morning, everybody. It's Corey with Peachtree Farm and Greenhouse. We are coming to a close of our fall season, which is kind of sad because I love fall, but um, we have one more weekend left. We have, let's see, we have four schools coming, Thursday, Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then we also have a haunted corn maze on that Saturday. So we are busy, but I wanted to show you all it's taken me a long time to want to pull these out. They've been so pretty. I've planted four zinnias in one lantana. These were one plant. So I want to show you all how big they got. I already pulled one out and decided I needed to show everybody. Okay, so here is one zinnia. It is huge. I just pulled the other one out that was right there in that corner. But as you can see, I have one here. They're kind of laying down because they're getting so tall, but this was one lantana. That small little lantana has transformed into this big thing and it is so pretty. I recommend everybody getting lantanas. Put them in your landscape, watch what they can do. They need sun to shade. That's where this one's been and done so well. We see lots of butterflies, lots of bees. Here's my other zinnia, but this one, that other one over here was just as big as this one. So like I say, that was one plant, pretty awesome. But right now I'm gonna pull them out and put some dianthus in there. So I'm gonna pull out this zinnia here also. I mean, look how big, crazy. So I really didn't plan properly because I didn't realize I planted so many zinnias. But I'm gonna have to go get two more because I'm probably gonna put two dianthus right here to replace my zinnias. We didn't really do real thick stuff. Just get it in there real good. Michael's decided to join us. If you didn't have such rocky soil and Michael Myers staring at you, it would probably be easier to get a hole. But anyway, these are going to bloom all spring and summer. In fall. Mine are still blooming. I have some in the backyard. Oh. <laughs> Is it okay to kiss Michael Myers? <laughs> <laughs> so over here it looks like some of my dianthus actually did come back. So I might not need four. We'll see. I may actually move some of these. I don't know. So I think what I'll do is probably go get probably two more. All right, so here is all of our dianthus. We still have a lot left. A lot of people that don't see the color, which is right here in the mound that they make, don't tend to buy things until they see them, which that's just how we are. So I think I'm going to put some white within the landscape just to have some more color and um, like I said, I'll put two more of these. I've already got some flowering kale at my house, so I'll stick with pansies and dianthus for now. But I really wanted to show you this. This right here is dianthus in the fall. Like I had told you in the front yard, I was looking for a quick fix with some weeds. I sprayed back here and up there so you can tell that I almost killed it. I thought I had killed it. I'm like, okay, well, I've got some coming. I'll replace them. But they revived themselves. And this is two plants, okay? And as you can see, the middle is just got that dead part, but they came back. I am shocked, actually. So that tells you how good of a quality plant these are. Here's another one back here and another one. 
Luckily the ground is still kind of soft from that rain we had the other day. Because if it wasn't, I probably wouldn't be doing this because I would not be able to get a hole. Now I am pulling tomato plants. We put way too many in our raised beds to begin with, and then I pulled them out, and the seeds evidently got in there, and I have a bunch with no tomatoes. Let me just show you. So here I am pulling them out, and you see how many I have left to do. But I'll show you really quick here what we do with the dianthus. I put three right there, and I put them in between my gold mound. So hopefully that'll be a good filler. But you know what I got to thinking? I'm really glad that I don't have anybody staring at me while I'm finishing up this landscaping. Wonder where he is. <laughs> 